to Adelaide's makeup tutorial channel. So three years ago when I was starting out on YouTube, I created a video which was called I Chopped My Fingers Off. And it was a makeup tutorial showing you how to create a look that looks as if you've chopped your fingers off. Now to date, that is my most viewed video on YouTube. And it's also the video where I've received the most hate, the most love and the most questions in the comments. So today I wanted to revisit that video, recreate the look with a couple of extra features and answer the questions that were most commonly asked on that video. So one of the most common questions was if your skin tone was a different skin tone to the scar wax, how do you make it blend into the fingers? Today I'm going to show you how to do that and I didn't show you how to do it in the original video because my fingers are actually the same color as the scar wax. But today I'm just going to show you how to do it anyway, in case you have a different skin tone. Another one of the questions asked a lot, which I just want to address because I find it kind of funny and a little bit worrisome that people are asking this. People were asking, is it real blood? It's absolutely not real blood. So I use a brand called Ben Nye and they create products which look extremely realistic, but I absolutely promise you there is no real blood in the product. So this is one of the products that I've used today, which is Ben Nye Dark Blood. The main ingredients in this are corn syrup, water, some coloring and some flavorant. So it's actually mint flavored which is kind of cool because if you're doing looks where you need blood in or around your mouth this is completely safe to put there. So no it's not real blood I promise you. <laughs> Another question I get asked is, is it annoying to keep my fingers bent down like this? Yes it is and I wouldn't really recommend doing this look where you're going to have your fingers bent down for a long period of time unless you really want to commit and do that. I kind of did this look as maybe like a prank where you do this look very quickly and after the joke's over take it off. Now in saying that I will also create a look in the next couple of weeks which will show you how to create the effect of having your fingers chopped off without having to actually bend them down. So that way if you do want to do a look for Halloween where it looks as though your fingers are chopped off you can do it without having the annoyance of having them folded down all night. Also another question is where do you get the products? So I will leave a list of all the products used in today's video in the description box down below as well as links to where you can purchase them. So they were the main questions asked on the video. If you do have any other questions about this look, please leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Let's jump into this chopped fingers look. Okay, so we're starting with nice clean fingers and I'm taking my Ben Nye nose and scar wax. I'm taking a fairly big chunk of that and rolling it into a ball. I'm then folding my fingers down and you can choose whichever fingers you would like to use. I'm using my middle and my ring finger and I'm placing that ball on top of the bent finger and then I'm using the fingers on my other hand to blend that scar wax down onto my finger. You want to take your time with this process and make sure that the scar wax is nice and flat and really blended into the finger so that you can't see any edges. As you can see it's quite rough here so to assist me in doing this I'm taking my Lucas Pawpaw ointment. You can also use something like Vaseline and just take a small amount onto the finger you're using to blend and that will assist to blend that scar wax nice and smoothly. Once I've finished that process on both of my fingers, I'm taking the tip of one of my fingers and pushing it into that scar wax on top of the finger. This is going to leave a nice hollow impression. Now this is the part where if you have different skin tone to the scar wax, what you do is take your normal foundation and take that onto a concealer brush and just apply it over the entire scar wax and blend it down onto the finger so that the colors blend together. Apply as many layers as you need to until you can no longer see any of that scar wax through the foundation. Now take a small piece of scar wax and roll that up into a ball small enough to fit inside that hollow indent on top of the finger and place it on top, just pushing it into place slightly. Next I'm using this Ben Nye paint color wheel and I'm going to be using every color from this wheel. So I'm taking the black and the red and mixing them together and then coloring in that indent around the small ball of scar wax. I'm also taking that color slightly down onto the sides as well. Next I'm taking this white paint and I'm filling in that little ball on top of the finger which is going to act as a bone. So it doesn't matter if you do mix in a little bit of the red with the white as the bone is obviously going to get a little bit of blood on it. Now I'm taking this dark scab blood and using a spatula I'm just placing that on top of the indent and this is a little bit of a fiddly process so I'm applying it with the spatula and then just moving it around and blending it onto the finger using my fingers on my other hand. I'm also using my finger to apply that down onto the sides of the fingers a little bit as well. And lastly taking my liquid dark blood I'm dipping a q-tip into the bottle and then dripping that blood down over the sides of the finger so that it drips down along the finger. I 
Okay, so there we have the updated chopped my fingers off look. I hope that you enjoyed this one today. I hope you learned something new and I hope that I've cleared up any answers to the questions that you guys were asking most commonly on the original video. I also want to give a massive shout out to you guys, my subscribers. So like I said, I was just starting out when I posted that original video and it was really hard for me because I did receive a lot of hate on the video as well as, like I said, as well as a lot of love. But it was my subscribers that were backing me up on those comments that were hateful. And it was kind of like a little shock to come into the YouTube world and have these people posting these hateful comments. And it was kind of difficult for me to get used to that. But the amazing and awesome thing I found was my subscribers were backing me up. So these people that were being mean to me or writing hurtful comments... And then there'd be like 10 people to that one person who would jump in and have my back to that one hateful person. And I absolutely love you guys. Look, now I'm used to it. If I get hate now, it's so easy to ignore it. But in the start, it really, really was helpful. And it still is. I still love when you guys jump in and all have your say. It's, <laughs> it's really nice. So all of you who have followed me from the start, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. This is the funnest journey. And I absolutely love having all of you along for the ride. So now that I've finished the look again, if you do have any further questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I promise I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I do at least one new tutorial every single week. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you for the next tutorial. Bye, Analyzers.